Welcome back to Talking with Terry TV. And on today's Spilling the Tea, we're spilling it on Ben Affleck and Jennifer Lopez. Here it is. They're making headlines. And I'm just telling you, what happened to just the good old-fashioned ownership? Take a look at this. All right, here's a news headline. Ben Affleck was temporarily insane when he wed Jennifer Lopez and is now pushing for a divorce after a two-year fever dream marriage. Holy buckets. Now, here's the thing. I could see making this claim if you met a random person, you get drunk, you head to you Las Vegas because you have this bright idea, let's get married. And then you realize the day after when the alcohol rubs off that you're like, wow, we just got married. I might claim temporarily insanity. But here's the thing. They had a long, long history together. Let me just run this down for you because I, when I was reading this article, I was like, wait, there's, there's this long list. Because I was like, Mary was telling me like, well, they were married. They weren't married. And I was like, what? I had to go back through myself. So let's just recap their relationship real quick. So um, in 2001 is where they met on a movie um, set where they were filming. That's when it quickly became Benefer. Do you remember that time? 2001, Benefer was born and it was all over the, the media outlets. In 2002, they were engaged for the first time. And then in 2003, they postponed the wedding. I believe it was Jennifer who did that. Um, and then in 2004, they confirmed their split with the media. And then in 2005, Jennifer went to Mark Anthony. They wed in 2006. They believe, I believe they had three children. And then meanwhile, Ben went over to Jennifer Gardner and they ended up having some kids as well. And then in 2000. Um, 18, they split. And then in 2021, Ben and Jennifer Lopez had a weekend getaway, if you guys remember that, in the media, and their romance was rekindled. And then in April of 2021, they were engaged for the second time, all right? And then in 2022, they tied the knot. Now, that's a long time um, in there. And of course, this is just, you know, there could have been other things that the media was not aware of. But here's a type thing. There was a lot of time in there, over 20 years, and now he's claiming temporary insanity. Hmm. I don't know. I don't, I just don't get it. Why can't we just say, hey, things didn't work out and just take ownership for our piece, right? So hey, I made a mistake, you know, after we got married, I discovered that our values were out of alignment, our belief systems were out of alignment, whatever it is, what, whatever didn't click, right? We know that she loves the fame, he does not. Make sure that you check out my other video when we talk about this and we unpack this. Um, he very much is, wants to avoid the fame. And here's the thing, okay? Anytime something doesn't make sense, because He's making this big headline of temporary insanity, which is creating a headline, okay? Which is creating attention. They could have very easily, or he could have very easily said like, you know what, things didn't work out, blah, 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 blah. And it could have been so silent, right? So anytime anything doesn't make sense, I do have some discernment going, hmm, I wonder what we're not being told. So I would not be surprised if they're using this in the strategy because he was just filming, I think it was called The Accountant or something like that, The Assistant, The Accountant, something like that, movie. And I wouldn't, wouldn't be surprised if they're using this to leverage his new release on a movie. And I know that she is also um, working on, well, I guess she was working on the, the Met Gala piece, which has since passed since the recording of this. Anywho, I'm just saying he's the one who doesn't like fame. So then why are we creating something that's going to create fame? Okay. Anytime in life and business, when things that didn't go the way we, if we had hoped or they didn't go as planned, this opportunity offers up an incredible opportunity of a time of self-reflection. So we take a look at what worked, what didn't work, and take ownership on our part, because anytime we have more than one person in a relationship, it takes two to tango. And so there's stuff that my stuff that's coming up and their stuff that's coming up. Okay. And you've got to ask yourself the question, 
Is this something that can be repaired and restored? Because any time in a relationship, there's a rupture and a repair, okay? Or we'd like to hope to think that there is, right? Is this a rupture where there can be some repair? And I don't know about you, but many of you that are married know that not every single day is butterflies and, you know, rainbows with your significant other. I know personally that I have had some really challenging conversations with my husband and there's been times where I'm like, oh my gosh, do we need to get divorced? We are fine because we worked through it, right? There was a rupture and then a repair. And that is true for any relationship, whether that's a business relationship, if you have a partnership or a collaborator. By the way, here's my little note on partnerships. Never ever go into a partnership with <laughs> I don't even care if it's someone that you don't know. I have yet to see a business partnership work out, okay? I've heard horrific horror stories, so don't do it, okay? That's just your, you know, your public service announcement for today. <laughs> but going back into our relationships, right, is taking a look at what can we own on our, our piece of it and falling on our sword if we must, right? But own what didn't work bless and release, right? And if it cannot be repaired, which in this case sounds like it is not being repaired, but who knows, there's always twists and turns in Hollywood. So why wouldn't this one have also have a twist and a turn? Who knows? Um, but own what worked, what didn't work. Own what your personal development was in it, right? What did you learn about the situation? What makes you a better person, right? From realizing that and understanding more about yourself and bless and release it, okay? Because I truly believe that life is about growing, expanding, evolving. And when we understand that part of it, we become better humans, better people, better parents, better colleagues, better um, friends, better neighbors, better people, right? And that's the, really the key part here is understanding that in this journey called life and this human experience that we're all having, We've got to take the moment to just realize that there are some times that we're going to make mistakes and just own it, own the ugly, right? Own it and move on from it, right? So as always, be bold, be brave, be fearless, be the magic of you, and I'll see you on the next Spilling the Tea.